Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and I'm coming to you with another puzzle in the Sudoku U series. This is the series of puzzles um, which are created by students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards, pardon me, from their Puzzles and Paradoxes class. So this is Tic Tac Toe by Preston, um, which is really cool because you've got the, the noughts and the crosses with the thermos um, in the nine by nine grid. Um, not sure if I've seen this concept done before with a different constraint, but this is a very, very cool puzzle. Um, and then you've got the diagonal line. Um, I really like a, a, a good cosmetically um, designed puzzle if the logic flows. Apparently, this is the puzzle I've been warned is quite tricky. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out together. Um, so, is there anything else I want to call out? I don't think so. Uh, hopefully, you're all familiar with the series by now. And um, if not, then go check out some other of the Sudoku U series, which are all about um, puzzles created by attendees of uh, Full Deck and Missing Few Cards as classes. So, um yeah, let's have a look at how this one works. Nice and simple in rules, at least. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip, which means this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this. Um, and similarly for all of the thermos, and numbers may not repeat along the indicated diagonal. So along this blue line, the negative diagonal, we may not have any repeated digits. Um, before I restart my clock, I do want to say that um, a lot of these students attended the SudokuCon live stream, which was on Twitch a few weeks ago. So if you go check out the SudokuCon live uh, channel on Twitch, you should still be able to find that stream, I think. Um, I don't have the details of where that's being posted to YouTube yet. When I, If I get those links I will try and post them below um, but uh, yeah um, so you can meet a lot of the students there and get more details about what they were doing I also guest starred on that stream and got to meet a lot of the students live which was great um, anyway let's restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot so Okay, well, I know that these digits have to be higher than six. So these are from seven, eight, nine, and the same is true down here. These are from seven, eight, nine. Um, these digits are lower than four, so these are from one, two, three. So the X's are more powerful, but I'm not sure what they're doing. Well, these are higher than five, so these are from six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so this is a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. So there must be a six over here. Ooh, I'm wondering if this is going to be a high-low coloring puzzle, because now I have all of these as high digits, so I can't put any more high digits in this. Does that mean this has to be a five? No, I don't think it does. This could be mm, as low as three if these are all low, but let's actually give this a try. Let's start marking these as high, these as low. Well, five can't be in here because of this five, and it can't be in here. So five is in one of those two, which means these are, well, these are low because they're from, they're lower than five. And one of these has to be low. So where's the other high digit in this box? Well, nine can't go in any of those. So nine is in one of those two. So there's no nine here. These are high. I'm really not sure. Well, this is low because it can't be high because it sees all five high digits and it sees a five. So this is low. So I've got to get two high digits into... Well, hang on. Where's nine in this box? Nine can't be in those because nine has to be in one of those and nine can't be here. So this is a nine, which is a high digit. So one of these is high, one of these is low. This has a maximum of eight. So this is a low digit because eight, seven, six, this can't be five. So this must be low. So it's two, three or four. So now I've got three low digits in this column already. 
this is a high digit. Because if this is a low digit, these would all be low. This is five. These would both be high, and that's five high digits. So this is a high digit. So this is higher than it. So this is a high digit. So this can't be six, so this is seven, eight, and this is eight or nine, and it can't be nine. So this is eight, and this is seven. That takes eight out of there. Eight is in one of those two now for the column, because I can't put low eight in a low. These are not eight. Eight has to be in one of those two. So these are not eight. That's a seven, nine pair. There's a low digit in one of those. Okay. Can this, no, this, right, this is a low digit. Oh, that's really cool. This is a low digit because it can't be a five. And if it was a high digit, this would be six, seven, eight, nine, and this would be broken. So this has to be a low digit. So it's one, two, three, or four. And that's all the low digits in this row. So the rest of these digits are five or high. If that's a, right, that cell, what can that cell be? Now, it's at least a three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it can't be a nine because it's not at the end of a thermo. It can't be an eight because if this is an eight, this is a nine and it can't be. It can't be a seven. It can't be a six. It can't be a five. Oops, I took the wrong one out. So it's three or four. Either way, it's low. So this is low because it's lower than it. So this is two or three, and this is one or two. This gives me a one, two, three triple, meaning this is four, and this is five or six. Because it has to be higher than four and lower than seven. Three is now in one of those two. This is two or three now. Now, uh, yeah, this is low. Because if it was high, this would be six, seven, eight, nine, and this would be broken. It can't be five because five is in there. So this is low. So it's one, two, or three. because it can't be four. Six is in one of these two because the six is down here and the six is here. So six is not in any of those. So six is in one of these two. Does that do anything to this? Well, five is in one of these because I can't put five here or here. So one of these is low and one of these is five. So these are both low. Because they can't be 6, 7, 8, or 9, because the 8 has to be down here. The six, This is a 6, 7, 9, and 8 has to be down here for the column. 5 is up here, so these are both low. What's that doing for this row? This can't be high. If this was high... 
it would be 7, 8, 9, and that's broken because it can't be 6. So that is low because it can't be 5. So this is low because it's below it on the line. So this is 1, 2, 3, and this is 2, 3, 4. This, well, we know 5 is down here somewhere. I haven't even looked at the diagonal yet. I'm not sure what to use. I'm not sure how to use the diagonal. Could this be low? Surely not. These would both be high. And that doesn't, I well, know, 7, 8, 9 could work. And that would put 8 there. No, that could work. This could be low. Seven and eight on the diagonal is interesting. Nine on the diagonal. Nine can't go in any of those cells and it's not in any of those. So one of those two is a nine. Nine. Oh, hang on. But nine is not in any of those. Nine is not in any of those. Nine is not at the base of a thermo. So nine is in one of those two. So that's not the nine. And this is the nine. which is high. That looks down making that 7 and that 9, which looks up making that 6, which means this is not... I'm in the wrong mode. That is not 6. Eight now is in one of those two cells. This is low because it sees 6, 7, 8, 9, and 5. So that is a low digit. So this is the last high digit, which is 7 or 8, and this is a 7, 8 pair. So 5 is in one of those two because this 5 knocks 5 out of the diagonal and these are all known. So 5 is in one of those two. That's not the 5. This is the 5. So this is now low because it has to be lower than 6 and it can't be 5. Now I'm not filling these in because they could be any low digit at this point. Same with these. These could be any low digit. But row four, these, this is a low and a five because they have to be under six. One of them is five and the other is low. So one of those is low and that gives me all the low digits. So these digits are high and are six, seven, and eight. But we know the six is in one of those two. This is not a six. This is a set. And that's a set. These are all high. These all have to be low now because the, there is a low and a five in here for that to work. Oh, this is, this is bonkers. Now, one of these has to be high, but if this is high, then all of these are high and I'd have one, two, three, four, five highs. So this is the high digit and now this is the low digit. So this is 7 or 8, which means this is 8 or 9, and it's not 8. So this is 9, which we know is high. That's not the 9 anymore, so this is the 9, giving us a 7, 8 pair. One of these has to be 7 or 8. 
Well, it's not here because this would be seven, eight, nine. So this is the seven or an eight. And this is the other low digit to complete the low in the row. So this is two, three, or four because it has to be higher than one, two, or three. This high low has worked really well for this puzzle. Right, this is low. So it's two, three, or four, because it's not one. Oh, it's, it's two or three. Now, one of these is low. And one of them is high. And the high digit is seven. Now, if this was low, this would be four, three, two, one. This would be one, three. This would be seven, eight, nine. That could still work, I think. I think this could still just be low. We know seven is in one of those and seven is in one of those. So where is seven in this column? It can't go in any of those. Those are not seven and that sees that one. Those are not seven and that sees the seven, eight pair. That's not seven. That's not seven because it sees that. So that's a seven, which we know is high. So we've got to put a six in one of these. So these are one, two, three, five, and six. That's not a problem, really. So these are two, three, five, and six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two, three, five, and six. Well, there's no five there. Oh, and there's a one, two, three triple. That's a six. So that is a five. There's no five, six there. And now I've got a two, three pair looking across. The six is high. The two, three is low. The two, three looks across making this four, which has not resolved this thermo in any way, shape or form. But it has because three is now here looking across and three is here looking across. So three has to go in one of those two, but three is not higher than four. That's three, which still hasn't fully resolved the thermo. But these are from one, two, three. Four is in one of those. Yeah, it's eight. Eight is not here. Eight is not here because of that eight, and eight is not far down. This is an eight, nine pair. So I've got to put, where's five in this box? Five is not in any of those. Five is not in any of those. Five is not there. This is a five, which knocks five out of here. This has to be high or low now. But I still don't know which. One of these is low. And the other one is six. And if they're low, it can only be three. Because I can't put a one or a two... Right, I can't put one or two in these because they're too far along a thermo. So these are a three, six pair because the only things not placed are one, two, three, four, five, and I've got six, seven, eight, nine. So the only two things I haven't placed are one, two, three, and six. But I can't put one and two, three places along a thermo. So that takes three out of those. This is a three, six pair. And that six makes that the three, which is the low digit. This is the six, which is the high digit. I keep doing the wrong one. So this is the six. This is seven, eight, or nine, and it sees an eight and a nine. So that's the seven, which, which let's make it high. That makes this the eight, and it takes eight out of well, I keep going into the wrong modes. What? Let's undo back to where I did that wrong. Takes eight out of both of those. The six, seven pair looks across, making that the eight, which makes that the seven, which makes that the eight and that the seven. This is definitely a step up in difficulty, but it's a fun puzzle. Lower than three means two and one. The two looks up taking two out of there, takes two out of there. I've got all the high digits. This is a low digit. So this is two, three, or four. 
One is now in one of those two for the row. Oh, the one looks back down, making this two, which does absolutely nothing. It means two is in one of those two. These are both high digits. Oh, the eight looks up. This is the nine. This is the eight. The seven looks up. This is the six and this is the seven. You may say I didn't see it. I just hadn't got to it yet because I was doing other things. These are a four, five pair. The three makes this the two, which makes this the one. These are now two, three, and four, and they, uh, whoops, two, three, and four, and they're not two. So then this is a three, four pair, which means this is the one, and these are three and four. This is now a known pair. One, this is a two, five pair. The one looks down taking one out of there, which takes two out of there by thermologic. This is a three, four pair. So this is a one, two pair. This one looks down making that two and that one. The two looks up making that three and that two. The three looks down making that four and that three. Is that doing anything on the diagonal? No, but this five is. That's the four, which is the low digit. And this is the five. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a two, eight pair, which means this is three and four. The one, of course, looks up making that the two. The four looks up making that the three and that the four. The eight looks down making that the seven. This two takes two out of there, so this is the two. This is now a one, three pair. So one, two, three, four, five. This is a six, which is a high digit. One, two is low, so let's mark it. So one, two, three, four, this is a high digit and a seven. The two digits missing in this row are five and eight. And therefore these are one, two, three, four, five, one and six. These two digits, however, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, and 6. And there's a 6 here. So this is the 1, this is the 6. I think I'm going to get rid of the colouring at this point. The 6 looks up, making this the 1 and this the 6. There's two five eights all over the place. I'm not sure how they're going to resolve yet. What's missing in this, or what's missing here? 1, 2, 3, 4... So these are one, two, three, and eight. And there's a three in row nine already, right there. So this is eight, this is three. The eight looks across making that two and that eight. The two looks up making that five and that two. The five looks up making that eight and that five. This row is missing one, two, three, four, five, six, one, and nine. Oh, the four looks back making that three. This row, one, two, three, four, and five. This four looks down, making this five and this four. The nine looks down, making this one and this nine. The one looks up, making this three and this one. And that is the solution to tic-tac-toe by Preston. That was a bit more tricky. There was always information to feed you. Th th that was just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm completely floored by that puzzle. So simple. Just so simple. And the reason this worked is the absolutely beautiful selection of given digits. I imagine a few people have played with a grid like this, um, with making the X's and the things, and just the use of that diagonal and then the, those given digits in the centers of the, the, uh, of the boxes. Absolutely beautifully selected. Mwah. Stunning puzzle, Preston. Thank you so much. Um, I, I'm not trying to take any credit here, but if this had been a puzzle I created, I didn't in any way, shape or form, I would be proud of this puzzle. This was stunning. So, so elegant. Thank you very much. Um, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, and as always, 
good luck with your solving.